Mate, honestly, I feel I'm listening to King Dotter, right? I'm not lying to you, yeah? I'm listening to him, and I'm, every time he says a line, I feel like I'm going out of breath. Hello, and good morning, good evening. How are you doing? Hope you are well today. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be today. Whenever you're watching this, it could be three days from now, as long as you're watching it. That's all that matters. And if you are watching three days from now, hit me up in the comments, be like, yo, it's been three days since this video came out, I'm watching it. And I've hit the subscribe button. I'll be like, yo, that's amazing stuff. Good. Uh, right, today, King Dotter. Now, full discretion, King Dotter, the only reason I've heard of this guy is because of uh, Michelle's show and uh, the beef that him and Grizzly Hendrix had maybe a month ago or something like that. Again, not that I took that much interest because I'll be honest with you, King Dotter, not re I've heard, I heard a couple of his stuff from, from the Michelle show um, and I just don't rate him. I don't, I, well, you know, whatever. It's not like I've heard enough to be like, yeah, he's brilliant or he's shit. So we're gonna check it out. It's a Rendis, right? It's a Rendis. Now, if you watch my last Ren video, uh, Murderer, like I really enjoyed the track, but then at the end I was talking about how Ren always talks about his friend and all that stuff, and everyone was like, oh, well it's irrelevant. Well, no, it's not irrelevant because it's a Ren fucking video, so I will say it in a Ren video, okay? That's when I thought of it, that's when I'll bring it up. So let's just move past that. But anyway, uh, so it's a Ren diss. Let's, let's see, right? Like, why is it this is Ren? What the fuck has Ren done? I don't know. Uh, no more talking, more watching. Let's have it. Uh, I mean, one take. Okay. Uh, uh, I said I'm different. If I said it, I meant it. If you had common sense, what this nigga must have spent it. The universe is probably feeling generous to send me this brand new meal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's not pretend the trends ain't why you win. Can't be the pen, cause him dope in the dim. The mind style probably never changed. Wait, sorry, first of all, right? Who the fuck has mixed this? Are they deaf? Did they fucking mix this on, on fucking iPhone headphones? What the shit, man? Yo. Yeah. The high end, the high end on that EQ is shocking, by the way, to the point where I can fucking hear him smack his lips. I mean, come on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not pretend the trends ain't why you win. Can't be the pen, cause him dope in the dim. The mind style probably never changed from. You make a song called Murderer. On this one, I became one. Yeah. I'm the king of this dissing and instigation. Since you make pain music, I give you this inspiration. Get this nigga flashbacks of hospital visits. The price of life is whatever it costs you to finish. Nigga, oh, you a little puppy. I'm a big dog. Meaning it don't hurt if I get bit, dog. I'm a big dog, meaning I don't get hurt if I get bit, dog. I mean, it's, it's, uh, again, if people are going to jump in my comments and be like, you didn't get that, right? Genuinely, you need to look at yourself in the mirror. In the mirror? Yeah, that's right. In the mirror. In the mirror. Slap yourself because that is just, you know, it's an average line at best. I like the fact that he's going at Ren and the hospital visits and the pain music and all that stuff. But you make a song called Murderer, whereas on this one, I became one. But Ren said he became a murderer on the first one, on his track. So now you say... I give you this inspiration Get this nigga flashbacks of hospital visits The price of life is whatever it costs you to finish nigga. Oh, you a little puppy I'm a big dog Meaning it don't hurt if I get bit, dog A million subs, I salute you doing well That just means there's more people that's gonna see you take a hell They call me daughter I mean, again, it's a nice, it's a nice little, uh, nice little line that he said that you got a million subscribers. That's more people watching you take L's. I get the twist that he put on it, but at the end of the day, bro, right? The guy has one million subscribers compared to nine hundred and forty-nine or a thousand or whatever it is. Literally one percent of his subscribers. But again, 
King Dot is clever. He makes a song like this because obviously rents rent subscribers and his subs, King Dot's subs went up from yesterday when this track, before this track drop out, dropped, uh, he was on like six, nine, eight or something like that. And then all of a sudden after this track drops, it's almost on a thousand. So it's clever, it's clever. And I get it, I get why he's doing this, okay? But at the same time, it's like, it's just for the clout, right? Same as why the game dissed Eminem, just for the clout, because he knew that he wasn't going to fucking touch him. If I get bit, dog, yeah. a million subs, I salute you, doing well. well. That just means there's more people that's going to see you take a hell. Take a hell. They call me Dada, he knows them. I go to war with stars, is you off a kilo rent? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you high rent. What? Oh, you ain't scared when you try to. Are yeah. oh, you high rent? Nice, okay. Like the song, Hi. Call me Dada, he knows them. I go to war with stars, is you off a kilo rent? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you high rent. What? Like, again, he's talking about, like, I turned Ren into this. Let's just be honest, it's the first diss track on Ren. Let's just see what Ren brings out, okay? And then we can make a decision. But I'll be honest with you, I'll be honest with you, if this is the best you've got for Ren, or for any other rapper, then I'm going to tell you, bro, this isn't that good. <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up with you, right? You're using some lines that have just been fucking recycled. Let me just go back real quick. Stars is you off a kilo rent. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you high rent. What? Oh, you ain't scared when you try to. Yeah. But realize fool that brave niggas die to. Oh, I, I eat rappers like a cannibal, though. I eat rappers like a cannibal, though. It's like, bro, fucking hell. Every other rap song has that line in it. Cannibal, Turn ran into a rug. Now that's an animal flow. If you was me, damn Wait, sorry. Turn Ren into a rug. That's an animal flaw. Ran into a rug. Now that's an animal flow. Shit. If you was me, then I probably would have lost this pro wrestling. Yeah. This the biggest body I done caught. Mm. Gotta get this nigga credit. He ain't scared that he would get it. Yeah. But I bet it's gonna be the next time that he needs some medicine. God. I said my flow was like sugar to diabetics. Yeah. The yeah. flow's up. He froze up quicker than cryogenics. Yeah. It's since you niggas say that Ren has skills and he from Wales. When I flood him, pray that Ren has skills. It's for the culture. It's for the culture. And for the ones... Whales, skills, all right, all right, nice, um, I guess, uh, all right. Whales, when I flood them, pray that Ren has skills, it's for the culture. It's for the culture. And for the ones that really rap dope, bane of your existence, bring a bat and get your back broke. Yeah. Seen all them weird ass movements of dark, that's coke. It ain't about a pimp talking when the Mac spoke. Nah. Classic dope beats, nigga, I ripped them. Can't talk about bars when you too skinny to lift them. <laughs> they always trying to say my flow is not I mean, can we just be honest? Right, Ren looks pretty fucking ripped, mate. Can we just be honest about that? Yeah, look, watch that murder video, right? Ren is fucking ripped, mate. Almost to the point where he shredded, so. I mean, King Dotter can. Bars when you're too skinny to lift them. <laughs> they always trying to say my flow isn't fast. Like they don't know that haymakers are slower than jabs. Well, well, said if you rap better, better than let's hear it. No instruments. I play with guitars like, like Jeff Jarrett and. Man, I was raised in the 405. <laughs> I play with the guitars like Jeff Jarrett. Bang! Love it. All right, that. You know what? That's probably one of the best lines from this track. Like that is a sick line. Um. Guitars like Jeff Jarrett and Man, I was raised in the 405 When the homies had work, nigga, I sold those lines I'm just gonna stop right there real quick, yeah what the fuck is it with Americans that, that want to tell us where they're raised? I was raised in the 2 war one I was raised in the fucking 616. I was raised in the 405. Bro, that means nothing to us. Absolutely nothing. All that means to us is that you were fucking brought up in a place where they couldn't think of fucking names. So you just put numbers. Um... Uh, that seems about, yeah, about 400, that, yeah, all right, so I was born in the 400 block. I mean, come on, shut the fuck, I hate that shit. I was raised in the 405. That means nothing to me, mate, means nothing to me. Yeah, that just, to me, that means you were fucking raised in literally in just some random fucking outhouse with that number. That's all that means to me, like, I hate it when Americans say that shit. I was raised in the 616. Nice one the fuck? Who gives a shit? <sighs> was raised in the 405 When the homies had work, nigga, I sold those lines 800 subs, a nigga 
feel platinum. Yeah. Dropped on Knox and smacked him and got no reaction. And now the people is like, how was this happening? How'd he get here and who was that when I'm... Mate, honestly, I feel I'm listening to King Dotter, right? I'm not lying to you, yeah? I'm listening to him, and I, every time he says a line, I feel like I'm going out of breath. It's him, but it feels like I'm fucking losing breath, like, <gasps> fucking hell, I'm about to catch this line, mate. It's like, how was this happening? How'd he get here? <gasps> fucking hell, lad. What happened there? And now the people is like, how was this happening? How'd he get here? And who was that when I'm... He can't even, it sounds like he can't say two, three words without fucking taking deep breaths in between. Bro, lay off the smoke, man. Platinum rim should have had a scat when I'm over Captain America shit when I start attacking him. He doping up the dish yeah. and still give you props. Right. Say you is creative. Woo. That's just where it stops. Where it stops. Like why you jump up, taking knocks for knocks. Ooh. Now your number's up. Yeah. Ball clocks cuss. Dot of preposterous shots that have hit esophagus. There's confidence and down. Nah, nah, that was, I'm not gonna lie right, that was like a fucking trash scheme that he had there. Can we just listen to that again? Because that was just the most generic bullshit from YouTube rappers. Just generic bullshit. Now your numbers up. Yeah. Ball clocks cuss. Dot of preposterous shots that have hit esophagus. Dot of preposterous shots that have hit the esophagus. Dominance. Mm -hmm. Please shut up. Please shut up. Confidence and dominance in the skin of a rhinoceros. Confidence and dominance in the skin of a It's like, bro, you are try. Do you know what? Nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done with this track. He's not that good. I'm, I, he's making me genuinely trying to catch a breath because I don't know what's happening. Is he going to die? Can someone please fucking check on Dotter? Just make sure that he's not dying or some shit. Um, I'll be honest, right, I was looking forward to this because, again, it's not like I've got any personal attachment to Ren. You know, I've got my own, uh, I've got my own sort of point uh, POVs on Ren. I've got my own opinions on him. Like, you know, he's not everything that he does is great. There's some things that I don't agree with, standard. But I was looking forward to this because I thought, oh, shit, here we go. Fucking beef. I can't wait for beef season. And then King Dotter comes out with something like this. I mean, King Dada Preposterous. What was it? What was it? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to listen to that again because that was just hilarious. Preposterous shots that it hit the esophagus. Confidence with dominance and the skin of a rhinoceros. Which doesn't even fucking rhyme. Confidence and dominance in the skin of a rhinoceros. I saw that shine. Who talking about mine? I brought out nines. Leaving all these chalk out lines. I said it's time. There you go. Typical American fucking bullshit YT rapper. I bring out the nine and the chalk lines. It's like, bro, that is not clever writing, all right? That is just not clever fucking writing. Stop it. Bro, you need to take a deep breath, fam. Like, genuinely, take a deep breath. Maybe take some fucking yoga lessons or something like that just to just to control your breath. Do you know what I mean? Like, just to control that shit. Because, honestly, one of these times, you're going to choke on a fucking... In a booth, mate. Genuine. Genuine, you're going to choke in a booth. Right? The way that you're taking them breaths, yeah, I'm scared for you. And please, go check out on him. And the other thing is, as well, bro, the mixing on this track is fucking atrocious, by the way. Maybe that's why I can hear your fucking breaths that, that much because the mixing is shocking. Talk about it. Hey, it could be Ren. Ren. It could be Screw. Screw. It could be Knox. Nice. It could be Crip. It, it could be, be you. Crip was shit. Knox is shit. Screw is shit. So basically, you just picked on shit rappers, apart from Ren. And again, Ren hasn't even replied, and we're going to have to wait to see if there's a reply. I'm telling you, hey, everybody fucking with me. Sorry, no, I don't like that. That was not good at all. If anyone says that's good, yeah, you need to fucking, you're either best friends with fucking daughter, yeah, or you, I don't know what you're trying to be because that was just not a good track. The only good line about that was the Jeff Jarrett guitar line. That was the only good line. He had some nice disses in there, obviously in terms of, you know, oh, the hospital visits, like, man, whatever, weak. Weak shit. Well, what ruined it for me was that daughter preposterous, data preposterous, 
fucking shatter your esophagus, all that shit. Didn't like that. I know he thought that was clever when he was writing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dot a preposterous esophagus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else goes with that? Dominance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. It was not. All right. It just wasn't. It was nothing clever about it. It was just pretty, pretty poor. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but anyway, any, everyone has their own thoughts. So please let me know in the comments. Uh, no doubt I'm going to hear from this guy and probably write a diss track because that's what he does and that's the only thing that he knows how to do. How to do, yeah. Shit, why did I just repeat myself? I just repeat myself. All right, um, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay alive.